Sejin here. For those of you who are frustrated by the low resolution images that AI generates for you, or if you have pictures or images that you want to use for print but the resolution is too low, I have a grand solution for you. I've already mentioned this in a previous video, but I felt like this needed its own introduction. The solution is super easy and super free. Everyone loves free. So if you like this sort of content, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to this channel. Let's dive right in. Go into your browser and search for Upscale. That's U-P-S-C-A-Y-L. Click on the first link you see. It should say Upscale AI Image Upscaler. Now, depending on your OS, you can download the Windows version, Linux, or Mac OS. I'm a Windows guy, so I'm going to download and install the Windows version. Once you've installed it, open it. You'll see the main dashboard with steps one to four. And then there's settings, so click settings. If you click read wiki, it'll take you to their GitHub page. You can change the upscale theme of your choice, whether that be light mode, cupcake mode, corporate mode, and so on. There's a long list you can choose from. You can set a permanent output folder, but I skipped this along with GPU ID and custom models. Below that, you can choose your save image as, I prefer the PNG format. You can also set the image scale from 2x to 4x. I've tried 2x and 3x, and most of the times the images come out a bit awkward or irregular, so I stick with the 4x scale, which is actually what I need anyways. So now let's upscale using upscale. I've already generated an image that I want to use for a print project. I used Midjourney to generate an image of a pink Lambo parked in the countryside. I've already saved it to my folder, so let's check the properties for this image. You see that the image size is only 1.95 megabytes, which is pretty small. If you click on details, you see the width is 1453 pixels and the height is 793 pixels. Now, usually for print, it's recommended that you use an image at 300 dpi or dots per inch. So for a 4 inch by 6 inch photo, your image resolution has has to be 1200 pixels by 1800 pixels, which is pretty big. Here's a chart that gives you the exact sizes for all your print sizes. I'll leave a link in the description. So if I wanted to put my Lambo on a 12 inch by 18 inch, I need something in the ballpark of 3600 pixels by 5400 pixels. So let's use Upscaler to upscale my image for print. Go back to the Upscale app, step one, click select image and click on the image. For step two, click on the upscaling type I'll choose Digital Art. Step 3, set the output folder. The final step is to click Upscale and have it upscale my image. You'll see that it tells you the final format will be 5812 by 3172, which is pretty close to what I need for my Lambo poster. So I'll hit the upscale button and let it do its magic. Once it's done upscaling, you can move the vertical bar from left to right to compare the before and after. If you look closely, you can see the upscale version is a bit smoother. Let me show you the actual differences between the two images. Here is the original image from Midjourney. If you zoom in a little, you'll notice that the image becomes immediately pixelated. Now let's look at the new upscaled image. If you zoom in the image, it remains clean and there's very little pixelation in the image. This is perfect for any type of print-on-demand you require. What's awesome is you can pretty much do this with any image you download from the web. Well, I hope you've gained some insight here and if you enjoyed watching this video, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!